Let's talk about the racism in Florida, the racist shooter, and the racist governor who had the audacity to act as if he does not promote this kind of atmosphere. Here it is. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is here. We're going to ask the governor here to come down and do the march. Damn right. Don't let him say another word. Now some may be saying, well, well, what did what did he do? Is it because of his policies? Well, let's count the ways. The Stop Woke Act. The you can't protest, and if you do and disrupt traffic, we're going to now give you a felony. How about this one? Arresting black voters after they were told by the Board of Elections they could register to vote. Having a camera crew make sure that it was, you know, promoted for the state. Or perhaps the fact that he downplayed white supremacy by saying he's never met a white supremacist. Hmm? You make your pick. Put up the picture full mass. Jacksonville, Florida. Ryan Christopher Palmer, one to one, killed three people on Saturday, as you are well aware. It was a racially motivated attack where the killer targeted black people at a Dollar General store. As police entered the building, he killed himself. The sheriff's office named the three victims, 19 year old Anot, Joseph, AJ, Agrary Jr., 52 year old Angela Michelle Carr, 29 year old father, Gerald Deshaun Gallion. They're dead. When you kill a person, you don't just kill a person. You take a piece of those who love them away. You also destroy the lineage of whatever future children they would have had. You kill an entire generation is my point. In the middle of the rampage, this killer texted his father at 1.18 PM and instructed him to use a screwdriver to enter his room. But police said he found a last will and testament and a suicide note on the laptop. He also left manifestos where he declared his disgusting ideology of hate and his motive in the attack, according to Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters. Let's put up what they found. The sheriff said investigators believed the killer acted alone. Worse, both a tactical vest and mask during the attack. He was armed with an AR-15 style rifle. It had swastikas drawn on it and a handgun. The killer bought at least two of his guns legally. Even after being involuntarily held on a mental health or in a mental health facility on a mental health hold back in 2017. Authorities said on Sunday, let me give you more background. The killer was 21 years of age, had no criminal arrest record prior to his massacre. But he was held under the Baker Act six years ago. That's a Florida law which allows for an individual to be held involuntarily for up to 72 hours. For examination, if authorities suspect that someone has severe mental illness and presents an immediate danger to themselves or others, this killer was a registered Republican, which means he's a DeSantis supporter and Trump supporter. That's according to uh, voter records. Uh, But both of his parents are registered as Democrats according to voting records. Um, Simone Sanders had this to say. 
Republican candidate for president Vivek Ramaswamy also gave his reaction to the shooting this morning on Meet the Press. Now, Ramaswamy claimed that racism is dwindling in this country and he does not want to add fuel to the fire. But on Friday, he said this on the campaign trail in Iowa. I'm sure the I'm sure the boogeyman white supremacist exists somewhere in America. I've just never met him. <laughs> never seen one. Never met one in my life, right? Maybe I'll meet a uh, maybe I'll meet a unicorn sooner. Maybe he should visit Charleston, South Carolina, uh, Mother Emanuel, uh, the grocery store in Buffalo, New York, or a Dollar General in Jacksonville, Florida. Too many of our political leaders refuse to call out or even acknowledge extremist racist rhetoric. Isn't it amazing? That's their go to. I've, I've never met a white supremacist before. I had a cop, Officer Tatum, they call him, in the bullpen. His argument was he's never met a racist cop. You know, Maybe you've never met a serial killer. Does that mean they do not exist? Maybe you have never met a foster child. Does that mean they do not exist? It's insane. The rebuttal that they put forth, and it's even more insane, the people who accept it. I'm happy they shut down the Satan at that damn political posturing that he was doing, nothing more. He was there, so he would not get criticized for not being there while creating, advocating, supporting policies that create the very environment. What you see there, sharing thoughts. You know, Vivek, and his happy veneers that smile <laughs> through our community's pain, they're on my last damn nerves. Yeah. They really are. And with all due respect to the sheriff in Jacksonville, the gunman didn't act alone, okay? He was assisted, as you mentioned, by Ron DeSantis, others, the Republican Party, people who wanted to, that's just my political affiliation. No, it's not. It's an ideology that kills now, okay? We're, we're to the point. Or don't act like you don't know that it definitely kills. Public shaming is good, Dr. Ritchie. They didn't boom as bad as they did Ted Cruz at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. But it only works, this powerful tool, if you're capable of feeling the shame. That's right. You gotta have a soul for that. All right.